Hey everyone, I'm Mike Fussell here from FLIR, and today I'm going to be joined by Gary Hang from our Machine Vision Center of Excellence. Gary's going to share with us the advantages of 10 gigabit Ethernet, and then walk us through the best practices of setting up an Oryx Machine Vision system. Let's take a closer look. Okay, Gary, so I've got my uh, test, test PC here, and uh, I was wondering if you could walk us through how to install an Oryx in it. Sure, Mike. I see you have everything over here ready on the table. You've got a um, power cable over here, and a lens, 10 gig card, and a cap 5 e cable over here. All right, so... So why don't you uh, walk us through what you're, what you're doing here? Okay, so I'm just going to pop on the lens over here. Um, for those of you um, who are interested, um, one of the properties of the lens, aside from getting a picture to the camera, you can also attach it so then um, it will also cool off um, the camera. And here we go. And let's just install the 10 gig card over here. Okay. Um, and I see that over here, excellent. You have the system set up with um, dual memory channel over here. Yeah. Um, that's what we recommend um, for getting a 10 gig system. You always want to have you know dual um, memory channels installed. And when you're installing the 10 gig card, you always want to install it that is closest to the CPU fan as possible. You see that you have a lot of you know, slots over here and all of them are PCI Express slots. Um, the one that will give you the most reliable connection is the one that's actually closest to the CPU and the fan over here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna install on this one over here for us. Plug that in and we'll secure it. My, my mid-range i7 CPU is, is just fine. Yep. Mid-range i7 works totally fine. Um, you know, the one of the benefits with um, Gigi cameras and taking the interface is that it actually um, will not use as much CPU compared to other things. Um, for the system that we have tested, uh, most of them takes only about one to two CPU percent CPU when you're actually getting images from the camera. Fantastic. Well, let's uh, plug it in here and and fire up the computer. Sure. Let's uh, switch it on. All right. Okay, so now that our uh, system is booted up here, I'm going to go ahead and launch the SpinView GUI for our Spinnaker SDK. And we will uh, launch the Oryx here. And uh, we can see that uh, the SpinView GUI uh, it gives us full control over all of the camera settings. It's a fully GenyCam compliant SDK. Uh, this is the same same SDK we use for all our Blackfly S cameras, and it also supports uh, FLIR's uh, other machine vision cameras like our Grasshopper 3 and Blackfly series. Running here nicely, we've got our, our camera doing 144 frames a second, which is great for a 5 megapixel camera. Um, but Gary, I know we advertise uh, 163 frames a second as the maximum of this camera. Um, so how do we how do we get it to run faster? Sure, Mike. Um, in order to get it to run faster, right now, um, in, in part of our design, we wanted to make sure you get the best um, user experience possible and the best image quality um, as possible. So we have actually defaulted the camera um, to a 10-bit ADC mode. Um, and for those of you who don't know, with higher bit depth of ADC, you actually get a better image quality. And in order to get a faster frame rate, what you do, Mike, is you can change that to an 8-bit ADC. So with our Spinnaker GUI, if you go into um, the settings over here, and if you just stop the camera, so then we can change the settings, and change that to 8-bit, perfect. And then if you run the camera again, um, you should be able to see a higher frame rate, which I'm seeing over here, it's 163 frames per second. Excellent, thanks Gary. Well Gary, thanks so much for stopping by to tell us all about the Oryx and how our customers are using it and showing us how to set up a uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet camera. 